This is your servant, Prophet Christopher Usabute. The message I want to share with you is put the past behind you. Put the past behind you. Let it go. The past, your past, your past pains, your past disappointment, your past experience. Your maybe a ato pain. Your maybe a sisi wa wabura bumi. Fatu echi. See the past. Will always remain as it was. There is nothing you can do to change the past. So your past is not as important. Rather, your present is. So many of us, we still leave our past in our present. Now, what does the word of God say when it comes to our past? Isaiah 43, verse 19, 18, 19. Or see. Remember not the former things, <laughs> nor consider the things of old. This is the word of God. He said, remember not the former things. Don't remember your past. Don't remember. Don't give your attention to it. Don't waste your time on it because it has nothing good to offer you. The only thing your past can offer you is regret, is fear, is disappointment. Why did I make that mistake? What happened? Why me? How did it happen? But you can never change it. Unto me and Sano. You can never change it. So let it go. You lost a friend. You lost a job. You lost an, a golden opportunity. And you can't forgive yourself. And I don't pay. The word of God says, forget about the past. Put it behind you. The future is bright. Good things are before you. So stop holding your past against you and even against God. Stop holding your past against God. I didn't tell you I'm a sad day we see. I didn't tell you I'm a sad day we do. Stop holding your past against men against women yes what they did to you was painful what they did to you 
cost you, what they did to you made you shed tears. What they did to you was so bad. But that is not important now. And when we hear out of war, it is not important. Because it can never be changed. It can never be changed. A team that lost Sunday match has lost it. And that faithful date, day, year, when they even win 20 matches at a go, that one loss, they can't be changed. Nature number the present opportunities that God is bringing on your way because of your past. Uli obi tu anamo o disappoint you obi she omo so be waro wa wa le o enu iya se si a enkem so sister brother put your past behind for what god is about to do is going to overwrite your past he is going to rule out your past. Praise the Lord. Put the past behind. Let it go. So remember not the former things. Yes, you see, to remember is to give it an attention. And the word of God says, don't do it. It can flash through your mind, flash through your memory, but don't let it stay and eat you up. Don't let it stay and eat you up. Counter it with the word of God. Counter your past with the promise of God. Counter your past with the hope of the future and see. The word of God says, Neither should you consider the things of all. Don't consider it, precious one. Don't give it a chance to come and eat you up. Don't give it a chance. All you need to do is to learn from it. Your past should make you better and not bitter. I said your past, whether your own mistake, another person's mistake, whatever it is, it shouldn't make you bitter, but better, a better man, a better woman, a better businessman, a better pastor, a better entrepreneur. That is what your past should do to you. The only impact your past you have in your life on you is to make you better and not bitter. So many people are bitter in life because of their past. They are bitter because of their past experience. Because of their past dealing with people. My precious one, a jump, a serious, 
unto me se sano enunti iwani free ni atwa mu no so na fa wani si eneso ni ochina no bisa was a die na obetumi aya ni esi enra no ensi na nensi ochina enu na huya enu na wasa odwene ho enu na wasa o ma wani akoso na me person bit uti ase ase in isaiah chapter 43 1819 god did not only say remember not the former things consider not the things of old but he said i will do a new thing a new thing new opportunities new favors i will open new doors the reason why you should forget about the past and move on is that God is about to do a new thing. God is about to open a new chapter of your life. God is about to set you up for glory and honor. That is going to overshadow your past. That is going to turn all your mockers into your celebrators. That is going to semify your enemies. Those who thought because of what they did to you, you are finished. Your end has come. They are going to see the things God will be doing in your life. And they will bow down their head. Like Joseph. When his brethren saw what God has done in their life, they were ashamed. This morning, all I want to tell you is put the past behind you. Let it go. Let it go. Focus on your present and on the future. Move on. Take new risks. Take new steps of faith. Seize new opportunities. For this time, it shall work. This time, it shall succeed. This time, something good shall come out of it. God bless you. God keep you. God cause his good face to shine upon you. Remember not the former things. Neither should you consider the things of old. Put the path behind you. Don't give your attention to it. For God says he will do a new thing. God bless you. This is your pastor, Pastor Christopher Osabuti. You can pick the number on your screen. Call me. We pray. We share the word of God together. Share this page. Invite friends and loved ones to follow this page. Follow it. For I have many packages for you. God bless you. See you another time. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your soul. God bless you. God bless you. If you don't know Jesus, you are making the greatest mistake of your life. Disappointed on tomorrow wants to die and after judgment. And God has set a day that he will judge this world through Jesus Christ. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whomsoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Precious one, believe in Jesus. And have hope for your life after death. Let's pray as I lead you to accept Jesus. Say this after me, Lord Jesus, I believe I am a sinner. I accept you as the gift of life. Come into my life and save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I choose to follow you and serve the living God. Thank you for forgiving me all my sins and saving me. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. You are saved. You now have an eternal life. All you need to do is join a Bible-believing church, a Christ-centered church. and serve the living God. See you another time. Shalom. Peace. Bye-bye.